there's been a significant increase in India's imports of Russian crude oil, according to the latest shipping data. Following the invasion of Ukraine in February, India faced calls to distance itself economically from Russia. But it has defended its continued buying of Russian oil. After the US and China, India is the world's third largest consumer of oil, over 80% of which is imported. In 2021, only around 2% of total oil imports, 12 million barrels of Urals crude, came from Russia, according to Kepler, a commodities research group. By far the largest supplies came from oil producers in the Middle East, with significant quantities also from the US and Nigeria. And in January and February, India didn't import any oil from Russia. But tanker tracking data from May shows that Russian oil imports to India have increased significantly and were the second biggest after imports from Iraq. So far, the amount of Urals oil contracts made for India covering March, April, May and June around 52 million barrels, is higher than the quantity purchased during the whole of 2021, according to Kepler. India has taken advantage of discounted prices to ramp up oil imports from Russia at a time when global energy prices have been rising. The US has said that although these oil imports do not violate sanctions, support for Russia is support for an invasion that obviously is having a devastating impact. UK Foreign Secretary Liz Truss urged India to reduce its dependence on Russia during a trip to Delhi in March, which took place at the same time as a visit by the Russian Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov. Mr Lavrov told his Indian counterparts that Russia was willing to discuss any goods that India wanted to buy and urged that payments be made in rubles. Following its invasion of Ukraine, there are now fewer buyers for Russia's Ural crude oil with some foreign governments and companies deciding to shun Russian energy exports, and its price has fallen. While the exact price of the sales made to India is unknown, the discount of Urals to Brent crude, the global benchmark, remains at around $30 per barrel, says Matt Smith, an analyst at Kepler. These two types of crude normally sell at a similar price. At one point in March, as the price of Urals crude continued to drop, the difference between them reached an all-time record, he adds. The price difference has continued since then. So, India is likely to purchase at least some of this, Russian, crude at a significant discount, says Matt Smith. Although the price is attractive, India's big refining companies are facing a challenge trying to finance these purchases, because of sanctions on Russian banks. It's a problem facing trade in both directions. One of the options India is looking at is a transaction system based on local currencies, where Indian exporters to Russia get paid in rubles instead of dollars or euros. The US has made clear its reservations with this, saying it could prop up the ruble or undermine the dollar-based financial system. India's oil imports from the US went up in February and March, but then fell in April and fell further in May. While India continues to buy a large amount from Middle Eastern countries, the most significant increase in imports is from Russia. Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar said recently that because of sanctions on other major producers such as Iran and Venezuela, Western countries had squeezed every other source of oil we have. India has also denied recent reports that Russian crude imported by India was being shipped on as refined products to other countries, including the U.S.